My name is Laura Gorbett. I'm a fifth grade teacher here at Center Grove Elementary School. Today we will be looking at multiplying decimals using the standard algorithm. We will be looking at two examples. The first example is 2 and 35 hundredths being multiplied by 7. So a decimal number being multiplied by a whole number. First, I like to remind my students to put the factor with the most digits on top. So in this example, 2 and 35 hundredths will be written on top. Then, unlike adding and subtracting decimals, we do not line up our decimal points. Instead, we line up our digits from the right to the left. So 7 is going to go directly under the 5. Then we're going to completely forget about the decimal point in our problem and compute as if both factors are whole numbers. So 7 times 5 is 35. Carry the 3. 7 times 3 is 21 plus 3 more is 24, carry my 2, 7 times 2 is 14, plus 2 more is 16. The last step is to insert our decimal point into our answer. To do that, we're going to record off to the side the number of digits to the right of each decimal point. So in our first factor, we have 1, 2 digits to the right of the decimal point. In the whole number seven, we do not have any digits to the right of the decimal point. So in our answer, we need two digits to the right of the decimal point. So one, two. Our answer is 16 and 45 hundredths. We can check for reasonableness by rounding. Two and 35 hundredths is rounded to two. We can keep seven itself because we know our multiples of seven. So seven times two is 14. 14 is very close to 16, so we know our decimal point is in the correct location. For our second example, we have a decimal number being multiplied by another decimal number. So again, the factor with the most digits is placed on top. So 1 and 65 hundredths will be written on top. Again, we do not line up our decimal points. Instead, we line up our digits from the right to the left. So 1 is going to be written directly under the 5 and 2 directly under the 6. We multiply as if both factors are whole numbers. So 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 6 is 6, and 1 times 1 is 1. We insert a zero as a placeholder because two is technically 20. So then we finish our second partial product. Two times five is 10, carry the one. Two times six is 12, plus one more is 13, carry the one. Two times one is two, plus one more is three. We add our two partial products. Five plus zero is five, six plus zero is six, three plus one is four, and three plus nothing is three. Again, we need to record how many digits are to the right of each decimal point. So in our first factor, we have two places to the right of the decimal point. In our second factor, we have only one. Two plus one is three. So we need to have three digits to the right of the decimal point in our answer. One, two, three. So our answer is 3 and 465 thousandths. Again, we're going to check for reasonableness by rounding. 1 and 65 hundredths is rounded to 2, and 2 and 1 tenth is rounded to 2. When we multiply 2 times 2, we get 4. 4 is very close to 3, so we know our decimal point is in the correct location. Thank you.